Hello dear students, myself is Dr. Madhuri Shinvas, your dermatology faculty from this wonderful Cerebellum Academy and here with me I have Dr. Prajekta who secured 227 score in this FMG December 2024 examination. So heartiest congratulations Dr. Prajekta. Thank you so much sir. So how are you feeling right now with this uh, awesome score? <laughs> it is kind of a disbelief but I'm happy, I'm really happy. Okay. And uh, can uh, can you please tell us uh, something about yourself? Where did you do your MBBS and how did you start your preparation for FMG? So I graduated recently from Perm State Medical University, Russia, and I attempted uh, this year's 220, uh, 2025 um, FMG exam and I got a score of 227 and I'm currently uh, located in Pune, Maharashtra. Okay, that's great. That's great. And when did you start your uh, preparation exactly? Because many students want to know what is that... Uh, Secret ingredient yeah. which the students who secure about 200 have? Um, so, if I say like initially, I did not um, start my preparation from first year itself because first year is completely like a cultural shock, new people, new places, and you do not really connect with anyone. So, just first year went off by just being comfortable with people that you just connect with. And then I actually started my preparation around third year um, and I started reading standard textbooks. I think that really helped me consolidify my um, concepts and everything and ha help me luckily I started on earlier that also kind of um, really helped me and also um, make a made a very good foundation for the cl uh, clinical subjects that's uh, one thing I would um, suggest my colleagues and also before coming to India it is very important to just finish your syllabus and then come to India so that it is really easy for you to not be overwhelmed by the content that you have to go with. You have an idea what you have to do, what you have to resource. Even when I came back here, I was really conflicted between the resources I have to choose. And then just pick one source and just go about it. Don't really think much. And then that's all. Okay, so that's a quick summary. We can say that it is a secret ingredient. We can say is start early. Yes. Okay, start okay. really early and uh, don't forget to read the basic standard textbooks, okay, in your MBBS time. Uh, that is very crucial, even FMG and also NEET and INSCT also. So, this yes. is, we can say, a uh, standard uh, suggestion by all the topics Everybody. we can say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, Dr. Prajekta, can you say how was your journey with the cerebellum? I, uh, cerebellum, initially I was like, um, the classes are from 5 to about 10 in the night or maybe even sometimes 12 or 1. So that was a really mm, thing that you have to, um, you know, adjust with because at night you have to study and then I was like a morning person and then you have to change your schedule um, according to that. But really that worked. Um, you just have to make a 12 hour schedule. You have to keep on um, tracks and you just have to um, keep doing things in a way that you, I was really, um, the thing that I really lacked was, um, a schedule cerebellum that really gave me that schedule thing and also uh, you have to make sure that you finish all the uh, content that has been taught taught in the class just before just before the next day and you revise it that revise um that content just before the class and also most importantly do the questions of those topics that were being taught on the same day just before the class that really helped me and um and also for the teachers teachers are so sweet and you know they would do anything and just keep you happy just through the class because st sitting in a you know a room just by yourself trying to study everything by yourself just gets very very overwhelming so that's one part about it and also um there was this um P late night pyq has also really helped me and i just like it like the fact and also make sure that you do about how many mcqs about like i think 200 or 200 plus mcqs every day and also there was this feature in the app that was um we would have conversation like for example teachers asking a question and we would type in the uh, comment section about the answer right so it's more like a didactic way of teaching this like one way not like that i really like that thing that's really awesome and i'm very happy first that uh, you have utilized almost all the aspects of the cerebellum academy app so you have utilized the videos you have utilized the notes MCQs, late night PYQs, basically. And uh, yeah, so all around uh, 360 degree coverage you are going to get if you want to take this particular mission classes. And yes, it is going to be a live interaction. It's not just like you are sitting in your room and you are watching some recorded videos. It's a very boring thing. And also, you are not going to have a proper schedule. 
okay basically the, the success of the mission classes is mainly mainly because of the proper structure and the schedule because of which there will be a, a motivation for the students yes i should attend this class because the faculty is attending and also many students are joining so it will give a, a desire to join the class automatically uh, that's very uh, great project and can you please tell how did you utilize the grant test how did you give it was your score initially great or did it improve slowly uh, about the grant test mostly students are very um, you know scared of giving grant tests that's what i feel and also i was in the face so most um, biggest uh, issue with the grant test is that confidence students really lack confidence but as and when you just keep giving gts it just keeps improving and your score boosts and also when you see other people uh, working towards the same thing and getting same score as you it really boosts your confidence in a way that you have to um, just keep going and also there's tnds after every um, subject uh, after every subject is done you have test and discussions and the questions that are being put in the test and discussion are curated in such a way that it is an MCQ, but it is twisted and flipped in a way that it is, you know, it is going to test your concepts more than just road memorizing an MCQ. So it kind of gives you a very holistic approach and uh, it gets a student get to know how the question is going to be asked in the actual exam when it actually appears. It is PYQ, but it is not really um, a direct PYQ. That's really important to understand. So for those students who do not know the TND, which we call it as an exam and discussion yes. TND, basically after the completion of this subject, so mm -hmm. it will be a two to three hours, four hours of a class in which the exam is going to be conducted before the discussion part. And in the END live session, the faculty is going to explain about the question and all the four options and why is the other options not the answer. So it will be a live interactive discussion uh, which is going to take place. And uh, yeah, so at the end, before the examination, have you given the grant test and uh, was your score uh, in the grant test matching with the with score which you actually got in the exam? So I think our last test were about 30th December. I think I attempted that and after that I was very keen on just revising the content that I have actually done before for the last six months. You just have to fast track everything that you have done for the past six months into a very you know very very quick revision you have to get everything through your eyes and just do that so what i did was uh -huh, uh, last um, the last grant test i was very skeptical if i should be attempting or not because i was really scared again because it would be the last and you really think about your score and i just had like about 230 somewhere in the last test so that really boosted my confidence and i just sat into an exam thinking that it's just another gt that i was giving Oh, great. So your uh, score in the GT, it was uh, almost uh, same yes. as that of this? Yes, yes. Oh, nice, nice. Great. Uh, so if I may ask you uh, any do's and don'ts which you have done and which you don't want your juniors or colleagues to do? Yes. Uh, so I gave a lot of GTs. Initially, I gave. Then I uh, more like started studying and revising content. The thing that I did not do was actually revising in a doing the reviewing the GTs enough. I should have reviewed the GTs enough for me to know okay, what mistakes I was doing initially. And then I would not repeat it. But lack of reviewing the GTs. Just make sure just review the previous GT just before you attempt a new GT because there would be some questions that are being repeated and you do not want to get them wrong. You cannot afford to get them wrong in the actual exam, you know. Yes, Dr. Pajakta. And uh, by uh, reviewing the GT, do you mean the they have to see all the questions or they have to only check the ones which they made a mistake? So initially, I started reading the explanation for all of the entire 300 questions initially. But hmm. as, when, as and when the exam came closer, you just have to skim it down to the questions that went wrong and then read the explanation. Just, if you need it, just read it like that. Exactly. So you get to a... know if the thinking process is right or not behind the question. Wonderful, wonderful. Exactly. So this is a very important point, valuable point to remember students. You should not try to read the explanation of all the questions that is not uh, possible also sometimes, especially when you are giving, you know, at the later part of your preparation of four GTs per month or like that, it is, it is not going to be possible. Only read the explanations for which the question was difficult or you made it a wrong or you have just put it as a guesswork. So these kind of stuff you try to uh, uh, review. And uh, 
Dr. Prajatta and any other things about the faculty which uh, you liked the most in the Cerebellum Academy? You want to speak something? I just love the way Amit sir teaches the surgery. It is awesome. Heads, hence, heads, hands down to those uh, questions that actually showed up in the exam. And also Pooja ma'am. Pooja ma'am showed like ma is never enough. And that actually appeared in the exam. I was so happy about that. <laughs> and I just um, really like the notes of Anand sir, pediatrics. Awesome. I just, I cannot, like, because everything was, like, very huge and vast to be revising at the last moment. Yes. And his notes were, like, just 60 pages done. Three hours to pediatrics or even one hour for dermatology. Of course, none. I have to mention your name because that uh, 60 pages notes of um, this thing really helped me. And every, uh, like, most of the questions from also pediatrics were directly from his notes also. So I really like that. Yes. So basically, we have uh, made a sincere effort to make the notes as concise as possible and yes. also as relevant as possible to the uh, students. So that the revision is going to be very easy and also the content is going to be appropriate uh, instead of just giving so much of information. So the ones which are very important are the ones which are going to be discussed. And uh, any other thing which you want to uh, say, uh, Dr. Projekta? About, um, I would like to say that to not lose, you know, confidence and hope, just believe in yourself, you can do this. I know it's going to be very daunting and the process is really long and you have to invest like about six months after your six years journey of MBBS. So just keep doing it, just keep grinding. Everybody is going to be there for, to support you. Also, my family, I'm really grateful for everything that I've dealt with. Yes, definitely. Uh, you have to thank your uh, family first because of their support. You are able to peacefully uh, read and you, you are able to get this uh, awesome score. <laughs> so what are your next plans? What do you want to do? So I would like to again join Cerebellum for my neat PG preparation. Let's see how it goes. I'm really excited about it. Definitely. It will go great. I'm uh, sure about it. <laughs> and you, you are going to do internship? Yes, uh, it is going to be in Pune, Maharashtra. One year okay, internship, okay. yes. Great. So, do your internship uh, and uh, we'll meet again in the Cerebellum. live sessions. Neat live <laughs> sessions. And before that, uh, we may meet live uh, in the Cerebral Hum yes. event okay, in the Delhi. Uh, and uh, so, that's it. Uh, wish you all the very best. Dr. Thank Prajita. you so much. You are going to do great. So God bless, and uh, we'll again meet after the in the interview for NEET or INSCT. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Okay. So that's it in this uh, video, students. I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please do hit that like button. Also, do subscribe to this uh, channel, Cerebral Academy, for all this latest content. So happy, happy learning, all the dear students, and all the very best. Bye, bye.